Hi friends, today I'm going to show you uh, how to crochet a beautiful dress. This is my white collection inspired by Greece. Uh, white is the color that we love to wear, uh, which makes you feel um, fresh and uh, relaxed during uh, the summer uh, heat. To do this you are going to work with your 6 mm hook and the thin cotton yarn. You need a multiple of 5 plus 1 stitch and for this size I have worked 71 stitches. Uh, now I'm going to work a sample of 21 stitches. So make your slip knot. I just turn, hold my yarn like this, turn it and a loop is created. Uh, put it this way and I take this yarn and my slip knot then uh, chain loosely one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 19, 20 and one more 21. Uh, don't worry if your, the loops uh, look uh, great big. Uh, it, it's the way uh, they should be. So yarn over and we are going to work a V-stitch that is double crochet, three chains and double crochet in eighth stitch from our hook. Number one stitch is this stitch this loop, uh, it's the loop from uh, where our loop on hook goes out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Hold it like there and work there. Double crochet, chain 3, 1, 2 and 3 and a double crochet in same stitch. So our first V-stitch is created and then chain one in between V-stitches, skip four stitches, one, two, three, four, and in fifth stitch work a V-stitch, double crochet, one, two, three chains and double crochet in same stitch and chain one right after working the v-stitch and one two three four and in fifth stitch work a v-stitch one two three and in same stitch a double crochet and when we have come to the end chain one we have three stitches left and work a double crochet in last stitch and turn. So in row one we have three V stitches and uh, our second row is chain three at the beginning of the row which counts as your first double crochet and then we are going to work clusters in every chain three space we have three in this small sample. A cluster is seven double crochets to all together in this chain three space. One next to the other, just in space. One, two in same space of the V-stitch. Three, four, five, six, and one more, seven, oh. sorry I missed it, and we have worked now a big cluster made of seven double crochets, we um, yarn over and work the same in next V-stitch without chaining or anything else. So seven 
this is a very simple row just seven you have to count all the time a little bit so three four five six and I dropped my hook and seven our second cluster is made and we're going to work the same thing in last V-stitch very simple row I believe one this is our V-stitch and this is the long chain seven that we have left um, we have left at the beginning of the foundation row three double crochets four five six I have to turn a little bit to work faster and seven so don't chain and uh, at the end um, you have to work here at one two three at, in fourth chain from hook a double crochet and we have ended this second row uh, this is the row that we have to repeat chain four one two three four at the beginning and work V stitches in the middle of the clusters the middle point is one two three four the fourth loop that you can see and uh, insert your hook there work double crochet chain three double crochet in same stitch uh, we have chained four at the beginning of the row that is equal to uh, a double crochet and a chain one space so right after the V stitch we chain one and skip one two three stitches and in fourth no we skip more stitches because we have one two left three from our previous cluster and one two three we skip let's say six stitches and in seventh we work one two three a v stitch and right after a chain one and again skip one two three four five six and the seventh but in order to find easier this point you just look at the cluster and um, you find the fourth loop of the cluster and work there one two three a V stitch double crochet chain three double crochet and at the end we chain one and work in third chain from hook a double crochet this is the way to end and this is row three and you are going to repeat row three and row four let's uh, make a little bit our fourth row chain three and work here at the V stitches the chain three spaces I mean clusters and you don't have to chain on or anything else just work a double crochet in one two three in third chain so you are going to leave the fourth chain as a space in between the cluster and the double crochet uh, so it's better to um, count from this bottom point one two three this is uh, the total uh, tunic dress almost finished I just want to show you how it looks and um, beginning to chain uh, uh, the right chains I mean 71 chains uh, for both uh, front and back piece uh, just know that uh, you are going to work uh, 13 clusters in a row and uh, I I'm crocheting so uh, 46 rows of pattern 
or 23 just clusters uh, that gives us um, a length of 74 centimeters just check if you want less or more and my width here is around 45, 45 centimeters uh, and it's good for a size small if you want it to, to be uh, loose and I am going to show you now how to form this uh, V shape for the front part. Uh, when you are at row number uh, 17, you have completed row 17, um, then it's the time to begin to start with your uh, V shape in here. Uh, I have 13 clusters. I will find the middle point, which is I count six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the middle, uh, the middle point, and I'm going to crochet till here, uh, and I will end here and turn back. So my light is gone. So. If you are in a normal row, uh, at the 18th row, so 1, 2, 3, 4, chain 4 for the beginning, and just work uh, your V stitches. So work till, uh, not here, the middle point, work till here and I'll meet you there. So I have worked one, two, three, four, five, six V stitches, and now at the fourth uh, double crochet of previous row, I have chained one here. I will work a double crochet, just a double crochet, not a V stitch anymore, and I will turn. So I will work now only for this for the right side, no, which is the left side if we are here uh, in a right side, on the right side. Okay, chain three and work clusters in every one of uh, each next six V stitches. Uh, our pattern is simple from now on. We are not making any decrease for the moment. We just uh, started crocheting only for this uh, side of our piece and uh, I'm going to work now let's call this row V stitches row row number one uh, uh, this is row number two a cluster row without any decrease uh, I'm going to work row three also the same thing six V stitches and row four also uh, six clusters and um, I will meet you at the end of row four. So row number five and uh, we are going to reach till this cluster, not the last one, the one before the last one and we are going to end here. Uh, so work a chain four for the beginning, one, two, three, four, a V stitch, chain three, in, in rows one, two, three, four, we had six uh, V stitches, now we are going to work five, and the last one here one, two, three and don't forget to chain one and work here at the sixth cluster one, two, three, four at the fourth chain just a double crochet this is the most simple way to uh, decrease. You just uh, avoid um, the last cluster and chain there 
uh, your edge stitch which is a double crochet and turn back and uh, work ch a chain 3 and then from no row number 6 till uh, row number 12 you just chain uh, rows with 5 clusters of all 5 uh, v-stitches and you end at row number uh, 12 and you fasten off there then we have to join yarn here at my marker at the same stitch and start working for this side 1, 2, 3, 4 always chain 4 because this is a v-stitches row and we are going this way we skip this middle cluster and uh, work in next cluster a v-stitch one two three so we're going to work our first cluster here uh, v-stitch sorry so one two three four five six normally you are going to uh, reach there then row number two you are going to work a cluster row row number three again six v stitches and row number four six um, clusters i will meet you at the end of row um, four so i have worked four rows now i am uh, at row number uh, five which is a decrease row but in this side of uh, my dress I have uh, to work a little bit with a different way so I will slip stitch to find myself here at uh, the middle of the cluster so slip stitch in every stitch one two three and four sorry I'm off the camera so I am at the middle of the cluster and this cluster I will skip it and so I just work here a chain four one two three and four and this is my edge I will work my V stitch one two three four here in next cluster and this is the way to work very very simply uh, just slip stitch to find yourself in this cluster and then you work here one two three four five so we're working five uh, v-stitches in this part also as in previous in the other the so we have two parts the right and the left similar one two three four and one two three four last v stitch here one two three and the chain one and in third chain we work a double crochet and turn back so one two three and work a cluster in each v stitch so one two three four and five and double crochet here at the third chain from hook and we are working till row uh, 12 the same thing it's not uh, difficult uh, you are going to work just uh, five uh, v stitches and five uh, cluster rows and the result to this will be let me show you the finished front side uh, you can make a more deep V shape here if you begin all this um, separation uh, in a lower row let's say I, I completed row 17 rows of uh, clusters you can complete 
16 and uh, begin this uh, separation here um, you have to check that every time you are uh, sewing you are uh, at the right point you have a cluster row a cluster row or a v-stitch row and you are going to sew till around here uh, so you leave an opening of uh, 7 uh, inches here or 18 centimeters or, or more if you want and we are going to sew the shoulders also and put together the clusters, five clusters, one, two, three, four, five for the neckline and one, two, three, four, five here. So we have uh, three clusters that uh, are shaping the back neckline and it's going to be very beautiful and cluster here and cluster here so put some markers or you can do your sewing this way so you can see what you are doing and I believe it's not so difficult uh, then take a book to make your tassels Turn it this way many many times uh, so you have many pieces then you pull it out from here cut from one side and cut from the other side uh, I need approximately this size which is uh, 16 centimeters and I'm taking six pieces two four six every time and I fold it in in half this way and I just hold it here and I put this into the cluster don't let it uh, okay it's good folded then you hold it like this and you pass the tails through the loop and just pull the pull it to secure I already made this at my front and you can see it creates this sort of uh, ready place ready to put a cord like this and in any color you want or you may crochet one I believe it's okay till here and I like very much brown with white and this sort of um, lacy white or a crew uh, dresses uh, look very nice uh, with uh, boots in the same the same brown leather color uh, thank you very much for watching I will have this dress in all sizes and uh, I promise it really fits very very well because I have uh, tried it on uh, in several bodies and uh, um, on I will have it on my Etsy shop and uh, don't forget to subscribe I really want to thank you uh, for all communication and for all good comments that I read below my uh, videos and uh, I want you to know that this way um, I, I intend 
to do a lot a lot more and uh, I promise to write free patterns on my blog which is www.merrymerryhouse.com uh, I have only a few written there I don't have the time to to do this but uh, maybe after summer I will do it thank you very much uh, from Greece and this uh, Greek islands inspiration white uh, collection uh, best regards for me bye